push through. Like the brother last, like he had a fight two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, three round fight, broke his hand in round one. Wow. Continued winning, continued fighting for three oh, rounds. I've seen the picture of his hand. The won won the fight. Wow. Won the fight. Stayed throwing the hand. Wow. Broke his two metacarpals in his hand. Yeah. And yeah. they were fully shattered. Um, <laughs> welcome back to which camera do I look at this time? Okay, all of them. Welcome back to everything from nothing, uh, Ireland's most uh, mobile podcast. As you can see, we're Homel- in a homeless podcast. <laughs> most homeless podcast. Yeah. Um, also most fuck. Oh god. Also most um, audio high audio. Right, like, this is. I'm going to address this. Um, it's very weird for us. We're all hearing our own voices while we're talking, and it's it's weird. Um, we got so we got new equipment. Um, got sponsored by the Tardis Credit Union, who we're definitely delighted to work with. Um, we had opportunities to get funding elsewhere, but we genuinely just wanted to get it from an authentic source. So we're delighted to work with them in a creative fashion, and we're happy to hear ourselves through these headphones. So thanks to the Tardis Credit Union, um, we will talk more about that. Um, just a lot to address here, <laughs> including uh, this new location. Um, this new studio was funded by uh, DH Ryan Architects, um, which we're also very happy with that. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so today we're joined by today we're joined by um, Sam Devaney, who's uh, who's fu- he's in combat sports. Like, so you started off with kickboxing, is it Mai yeah, Tai? Yeah, I do both kickboxing and Mai Tai. Mai Tai, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose can you explain for the viewers? It's so weird. Uh, so kickboxing Sorry. is basically just punches, kicks, knees. Okay. Um, Muay Thai is punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. Okay. Um, so it's K1, like kickboxing or K1 is more as what it's called as well. Yeah. Be a real high paced, real aggressive uh, combat sport. Okay. Muay Thai would be still high paced, still aggressive, but it'd be more a little bit more kind of. Yeah, thing. like basically in Muay Thai, there's usually five rounds. Round one and two are kind of feeling each other out. It's kind of slow paced. Yeah, yeah. Kickboxing is three rounds, and it's from the word go. It's three trees of just chaos, oh, wow. basically. Okay. So, which, okay. w- which one is your uh, world championship kind of thing? Uh, I am. Uh, I'm a world champion in both. Wow. Um, I won two golds last year uh, in October in Cork. The world championship actually came to Cork this last year, um, and over space two days, I competed in both both competitions and won gold in both of them. So wow. it was good. Yeah, yeah. And you meet the same people in both? No. Um, I actually did, yeah. I met yeah. the same lad in the ball finals, yeah. Oh, okay. Met him twice in space of and the fought him at half ten and then fought him at about ten past eleven. Send him home. Yeah, I bet him twice, <laughs> bet him twice in one morning, so that was a good <laughs> day. That was a good day. Um what, okay, this this is like a a scenario question. If you um two part question, if you were fighting in the your biggest fight of your life, uh when you will you will be at some stage, but when you are, what will be the song you will play going in and what will be the first thing you eat after you fight? Because you'll probably have been training without um, eating certain foods. Like, yeah, like no, what will you usually, treat yourself usually, to? Usually pizza, donuts. Yeah, yeah. Just usually I usually drive to Limerick uh, specifically for Go away. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's well-deserved, I it's suppose. Definitely, like. It's definitely worth a trip. I have yeah, to make yeah. a trip up to Dublin now the next time there's 24 hour Krispy Kreme up there. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, getting, that's getting seen to. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. As for songs wise, just whatever I'm really listening to at the time, like whatever what I'm listening to, whatever I'm listening to the week or two before. Um, yeah, yeah. That's kind of usually what it is. I never yeah. keep to the same song. A lot of people keep to the same song. Yeah. I don't. It's kind of whatever. Yeah, whatever I feel at the time, really. Yeah, I feel like I'd be more like that as well, because like do you know, really, like you'd have a favorite song one moment, and then like yeah. in a few months past, you'd kind of like I don't know, it have just changes. Yeah, just yeah. Don't sort of walked out between the likes of just to rap from to metal to to dance music yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, so whatever class. you know, I've gone. So whatever makes you feel hyped, like it could be yeah, different, yeah. different every time. Like yeah, 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 for sure. Any Irish music? <laughs> no, actually, I walked out. Uh, I, I walked there. Well, they picked the song for me. I walked out to Sinead O'Connor in uh, the National Basketball Arena, which is pretty cool because that was actually streamed uh, in the UK. Oh, wow. Um, so that was that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, if you bring your mic closer. Oh, Sorry yeah. about this. We're just trying to get used cool. to. It. Uh, <laughs> is, is that better? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what, what was the song? Uh, is it um, is it just Grace? I think it is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. which is pretty pr- pretty cool. But 
I was wait because I, I, I requested a different song. <coughs> yeah. And I walked on. I was like, right, this is cool. Whatever. This wasn't what I was, <laughs> what what I was expecting at all. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it was good. It was good. And is it more, is it physical or mental or is it both or what is it? Um, the edge. I think, I think it's mental. Yeah. I think you can do everything you want. Yeah. Um, I think, but I suppose it's mental. It's mental and physical. Like you need to have the mental aspect to be able to train hard yeah. and to be able to push yourself hard to get back um, up. That's like that get back up. But, but even like even in training, like like there's days when you you don't want to train. There's days when yeah. you're, you're you're tired. You yeah. you feel you feel wrecked. Uh, there are the days you ha- there are the days you have to train. Yeah. Not the days. So that's you when you're good. doing the mental training, yeah. like when you're pushing yourself to yeah. get up. And you go have up. to. You mm. have to go. Oh. Like or it like likes of runs. If you look out and it's absolutely pissing rain, you yeah, have to run. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You have to run. That's not. Yeah, I seen when your Instagram stories that it didn't look like um the most friendliest weather, but you like just running anyway. Yeah. It's like oh, yeah. No, you just have to. You just have to do it. Well, the work has to be done. And what's the like? Is there anything you do like? Because I'm sure it comes like some days you'll be just like yes, like I can't wait. I get to go do this. I can't wait to go train. And some days you might feel like I'm assuming. Some days you might feel like less. Like you have to. If you any days where you did have to push yourself to go up and train, what is there anything you do in particular to more? Uh, um, or you just do it well I, one thing one, one thing I, I always say is I don't really believe in motivation at all okay. mm. I think you're either yeah. disciplined or you're not yeah. okay, and right. you actually get a good feeling through being disciplined yeah, yeah. through your if you say so like if you say you're going to do something yeah regardless of whether you feel motivated or you feel shit on the day or whatever when you do it yeah. you get a great feeling after it and through, I suppose through just being disciplined yeah, that's what okay. kind of keeps keeps you kind of pushing forward and pushing for more. Okay, yeah. Um, and always just constantly, constantly wanting to improve. Constantly wanting to improve. Never, like, there's always something. If, yeah, you, think, if, yeah. you, if, you, if you think you're good enough in this sport, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you might as well leave. Wow. Um, if you're, there's, and it humbles you in an insane way. In an insane true. way. Because you can learn something one week and you say, all right, I got that really good. The next week you do it and you're getting caught with a punch because you're doing a sort the way you were doing it and you thought you were good at it. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's not it's not it's def- so it sounds like it doesn't want to be like a sport if you're someone that's like stuck in their ways about being like what's like like do you mean like if it like a new technique comes on like I suppose boxing be nearly different boxing's kind of has that like evolved and stuff like imagine my type people would come out with a lot more moves and s- techniques opposed to boxing is kind of just the yeah. usual Yeah. Well, like I mean, I, I definitely like I appreciate boxing, hundred percent. Yeah, they're um, different. They're whole other they're elements. De- that definitely, definitely two very, very, very different, yeah. different sports. Um, but, but just as far as like the evolution of like how far my tie can go, like do you think there's a lot more? Like as you said, do you think like you'd have to be a lot more willing to change or learning? Yeah, yeah. Well, like even just even I know myself, uh, like even since I started the sport, like it's just grown. And there's more people coming out with new styles. Yeah, there's a, yeah. uh, you know, you have people all over the world, and they're they're really really good. And the reason why they're really really good is because they're very different. Okay, they're very yeah. they're, they're they're kind of reinventing the, the sure real type thing. Whereas in boxing, I guess, it's kind of I don't know I don't know. I'm it's, it's nearly like the original, it, like not yeah. the original. It's nearly yeah. like it has its core it, yeah. system and yeah. Um, there's not much they can change, and I don't. And it's not a sport that I don't think m- many people want much to change. Like I feel like like my Thai and stuff. Like there's so many different names for different jiu-jitsu ju- or what would you say like um, martial arts sports. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. there's so many different names. I feel like uh, is it getting to stage? Like is that why there's so many? Because like it'd be just a whole new set of skills will be developed that it could potentially lead to a new sport. Like or yeah, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, like there's there's ways there's like it's evolving the whole time. Like. It's always evolving, yeah. um, and when just just people taking different styles, mixing two styles together. Even like you have like really kickboxing, so like you've Dutch style kickboxing. Yeah, um, yeah. You've Dutch style kickboxing, which is just real high guard, pressure, 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 and then you have the more Muay Thai side of the striking, which is a lot more relaxed. But there's yeah. loads of kicking involved. Okay. Then yeah. you can get to people, and they'll mix the two together, and they'll create this this kind of like hybrid style. Um, yeah, yeah. Where they're Technical loads of kicks, but the pressure is just insane. Okay, right. Uh, say, yeah, yeah. It's the glo- I'd say the global element of the sport definitely helps with that because like uh, basically every culture in the world would have their own kind of martial arts. Like, so yeah. it's like there's go- like the more and more kind of countries that take part in like MMA, there's going to be more and more styles coming into it because people yeah. can just combine anything. Yeah. Like, yeah, big the big time. Like, and especially like 
like MMA since the MMA kind of really MMA blew up like insane amount. Yeah. Um. What? What? So what started? What was that? Just um. What's uh? What? What started that? Was that just a blow up of it? Just starting to get in ten? Or who might have started that? Like the blow up of MMA. Was it like so? It, is MMA sorry like the so that's mixed martial arts? Yeah. Is that like the umbrella name for like all the UFC might hire? Like um. So MMA, MMA would be the UFC. Okay, uh, right. The UFC, Bellator, um, them. Um, UFC is like, a, they're, so UFC is a brand name. It's so not UFC is a, a brand name, yeah. Okay, yeah, but right. But they're, they're specifically an MMA organization. Okay, um, okay, okay. And with like kickboxing, you have Glory, you have uh, one championship. Yeah, you have, yeah. You have Infusion as well. Um, they'd be definitely the top ones. What's the yeah. ones you operate in? Like, or are they? Uh, they're the, that, that'd yeah. just be the Irish, the yeah. just, uh, just Irish scene. Yeah. Um, at the moment, like there's a lot of moment, good, yeah. there's, there's a lot, there's yeah, a lot exactly. at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of good promoters in the country as well. Yeah. Um, like I'm fighting uh, for a promoter up in Belfast now at the oh. end of the month. Yeah, what day is that on? That's 20, on Mar- 28 March. 28, 28 March. March. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If anyone like, like anyone that might have an interest in the sport or just like the fact that you're from you're from Bursley, but you're from Turles, so anyone from yeah. Turles, yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm from from Turles and yeah. surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like definitely go up to it. Like um. Just for the crack, if you're like. To support someone who's from locally, um, and I do believe like you and so your brother Liam, like the two of you are fighting, like, and which is really cool to see just two people kind of coming out, like, uh, well, I wouldn't say coming out of nowhere because I don't actually know how long have you been training and stuff. Uh, two and a half years. Two, well, that's still pretty like fresh, like to be yeah. kind of really getting involved in the fighting mm-hmm. and stuff, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, before I didn't do anything, right? I did, yeah, done yeah. nothing for about two years. Uh, uh, so what, like, what, like. Um, did you ever what we ever like, like? Did you play other sports before? Played, I played, I played hurling for a long time when I was younger. Just you know, standard kind of yeah. basic things to do. The Barca League yeah, passion, just like have to go. You're playing yeah. GA or you're making yeah. points one or the other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then yeah, then left that. Uh, I joined the rugby club in Torres. All oh, right. And I played with them for a good few years, and I was happy enough playing with them. Um, but I don't know. There was always <laughs> it's not, not that sound bad or but me and Liam, um. We were just always interested in fighting. Yeah, yeah. Always interested in fighting. Each it was other, always like, no. each other, <laughs> yeah, each yeah. other, whoever. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. just like even on rugby when we played hurling. When we played hurling, we were fighting. We were playing rugby, we were fighting. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, and then we just kind of fell out. with fell out with the love of the sports. Um, kind of went off and acted the bollocks for a bit, um, which had to be done too. But uh, then found someone I was actually working with. Does the did start kickboxing as well? Okay, and they yeah. just said there is a beginner's course. Yeah, and yeah. me and Liam went up. We went in day one, and we were like, That's "Why class. in God's See, name?" started the same day. Same day, wow. Wow. and we were like, "Why in God's name did we not do this our whole life?" Oh God, we just really got we just got sucked into it, and like yeah. since then it was just I don't know. Like as I said, loved loved playing rugby, yeah. but it just wasn't. There was something. It wasn't hitting something somewhere. Yeah, yeah, mm. and I just. I remember just one, one day, just went in one day, and it was just absolutely unbelievable. Do you feel as were you going to say something? No, I was just I was going to say, is it is it pain or or tiredness gets you when you're fighting? Um, or both. Uh, like what would get you? Like, like what hits you? You know, if you hit a wall when you're fighting, what's worse? Definitely, what's definitely, tiredness? definitely tiredness. Tiredness would be a, a strong thing as well. But yeah. like, pain. you know, certain 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 shots are painful. Certain shots, yeah, like yeah. you. Do, you you do feel pain, like you yeah, do yeah. feel pain for sure, but like it's kind of a case of you can either focus on the pain or push through. Like the brother last, like he had a fight two weeks ago, yeah, um, three round fight, broke his hand in round one. Wow, continued winning, continued fighting for three oh, rounds. I've seen the picture of his hand. The won won the fight, wow. won the fight, stayed throwing the hand, wow. broke his two metacarpals in his hand, yeah, and yeah. they were fully shattered. And you um, see this picture, it's like did he know? Not, or like like did he, he knew. Like yeah, he, he came back after round. He came back after round one. Said, "I think I've after break my hand." Wow, was wow. Was and adrenaline kind of. Yeah, well, it was either it's broke. Like you can either <laughs> stay going, <laughs> or you can or you can jump out the ring. Like what do you want to do? That's well, mad. Like, well, I mean, but was he pumped up that he couldn't? Um, the ring in a while? Possibly, yeah, yeah. possibly. Yeah. I, like adrenaline is uh, adrenaline yeah. is insane. Yeah, yeah, adrenaline yeah. is insane. Um, like. I get adrenaline when I'm training, like, is yeah, like, yeah. which is just like gives you yeah. some <laughs> some Both. kick off it, like, yeah. um, you know. But yeah, yeah, like, there's there is pain, there is pain, there is pain. Yeah, but you're either you can either focus on the pain, and then next thing that uh, kicks you in the head, yeah, yeah, or you yeah. can kind of acknowledge the pain for a second and then focus back on the fight because yeah. yeah, you can't think about it too much. You can't think about it too much. It is what it is at the end of the day. There's there seems to be like an obviously no like nobody falls into it. two characters. 
ter- two character re- what's the word categories <laughs> in um in anything like um yeah. but there seems to be like like I watch a lot of like interviews and stuff with fighters whether there's fighters in general whether it's um <coughs> kickboxing boxing whatever um there seems to be the type who when fighting an opponent have the mentality of they've this this real fun thing about them like there's so there's the ones that um who are like they'll see the other person as like an enemy and they need to beat that person and then there's the ones that I'm not sure what they do but they just don't like they don't have that intensity about them in the kind of um, what they call the the weigh-ins and stuff like that there's like do you know what I'm getting yeah. at it's like yeah well what I mean like I def- like 100% for my first couple of fights like when you're going up and you're staring down in the middle of the ring right before the fights will start yeah I was almost trying to look into your man's soul yeah and yeah <laughs> and then after three or four fights like he's the same interest as me yeah, to yeah. To be honest, he's probably you know we probably have a lot more in common than you yeah, actually yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. like here, fuck it, let's kind of go. Yeah, and you just go. Just I, I don't know. I think you need to be able to push yourself. You need to be able to go. Yeah, but you need to be able to enjoy it and really, really enjoy the moment. Like really yeah. enjoy the moment. Like, uh, like because there's n- there's no feeling like it. Yeah, Every, yeah. Like there's no feeling like it at all. And did, did you have you um. Like have you f- so you fought with a crowd around? Yeah, yeah. And w- what's it like with the whole crowd element? Do you have to like act like they're not around or like? Um, again, like it's I don't know. It's kind of you picture them all n- picture them all naked. That classic. No, no, <laughs> not, 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 not even that. Yeah, not yeah. even that. Like you're in all I all I think about is just being in the ropes. Once you're in the ropes, like there's, so you there's nothing. There's you nothing outside. You wow. just box and this yeah, guy. There's and nothing outside, outside. Yeah. and all yeah. you can hear, you can have the whole crowd roaring. All I hear is my coach. Yeah, yeah. 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 All I hear is his, his voice, yeah. and, oh, all wow. and, and all I see is the corners are corners are ring. Okay. So, you, so you're still. That's something I always wondered about. I've actually that's interesting. I never would thought about asking that, but I always wondered about um yeah when you see the fights like and the coaches at the side and sometimes they'll show the camera at the coach and I'm always like, well, like is the boxer actually listening? Because yeah. like they're not moving, so they really can't. You can just really, but like it's like. Yeah, you don't even. It's someone that some. It's someone that you're training with the whole time. Like I always hear my coach's voice. I always hear the, yeah. bro- the brother's voice. Yeah, okay. The two right. of them, like, they're the like you could have, you could have a hundred people yeah, roaring yeah. in the crowd, but you'll be able to pick out who you actually know. That's so that kind interesting. Of way. Yeah, yeah. Um, Your brain knows kind yeah. of who you need to yeah. hear. Like, yeah, but they even like. I mean, I've had like family and friends like at fights, and like, you'd hear them. You'd oh, hear them cool. out. Yeah, like, yeah. You'd hear them out with the crowd, like just a little bit. You'd yeah, be able to yeah. separate their voice from everybody else. That's really cool. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a one hell of a feeling, unbelievable yeah. feeling. Would you be nervous before the fight? Um, no, I don't oh. get nervous. Oh. I don't get nervous, which, I don't know, I don't know, it's probably, <laughs> like a lot of people, a lot of, like, any, up, any, yeah. anybody I've ever spoke to absolutely breaks it before fights. Do you have a yeah. ritual or anything before the fight? Or no, 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 no. no. No, maybe that's why you don't have nerves. Yeah. You don't make like um, a big thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't put a stigma either. around it. You don't like. Yeah, well, like I mean, you just you just doing it. Like you just build. The thing is, the thing is, is that, like if you're training hard enough, yeah. if you're training yeah. hard enough, you've done the work. So, so, so yeah. the nerves are like you've done the work. You've done whatever you can. Yeah. Like there's no point going in, thinking what if this happens, what if that happens. Mm-hmm. Just focus on like what you've done. Yeah, yeah. all the. Yeah. All the hard work, all the the times when you're literally fit to collapse and training, yeah, they're the yeah. things that build up this kind of wow, so like confidence. Confidence. That's what I was gonna say. Like, could could confidence and nerves be opposing like factors? Like, I mean, like, would the more confidence you have mean the less nerves, or the more nerves you have? Like, is, are they like intertwined or? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, so like, like the only the only time I ever get nerves, the only time I ever get nerves is probably about a week before the fight. Okay. Yeah, the week before the fight, or else when I'm on the way to the venue that day. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's okay, it. Right. And once I'm once I'm in the venue, I like once lock, is that when you lock in? Like yeah, pretty okay. much. Well, no, I I probably lock in about probably about a week before. Uh, oh, realistically. Right, okay, yeah. Um. Well, actually, yeah, <coughs> kind of. Definitely now at this stage, like I mean, I'm two two weeks out on Saturday, so yeah, okay. I'll be. I'm pretty much kind of fully in there at the moment. Um, as much as I can, you know, without being a. Yeah. Hermit. yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. You know, it you you, you just kind of go into this just zone. Um, you'll see even like any of the people I train with, like <coughs> when I'm coming up to a fight, like I am pure, pure tunnel, tunnel vision. Like yeah, I very yeah. rarely even say well to people in the gym. Like, which sometimes I can by completely forget and like some I just like see someone at the end of the class. And like, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. I didn't even say well to you. That's interesting. But then like once the fight's over, then you're back in and scrambling and everything's you know. 
Yeah, yeah. And do um what's gonna say there and yeah, like is because like I'm sure like before so before you have your first fight, like you do a lot of sparring. Yeah. Like is there actually like like you can do as much sparring as you want, but like I always hear like it doesn't matter until you have your first fight. Like like as in like because you can never truly because sparring is a sparring, it's not yeah. like you can't go full at it. Like yeah. so what is it like what was that difference like after like all your training for spar true sparring to just be like to fully experience like oh shit like this is well like in sparring they're just trying to hit you okay that's it in the ring they're trying to they're trying to knock you clean out yeah yeah they're trying it's to different. literally they're trying okay, to yeah. actually actually intentionally hurt you yeah in, yeah and if they see any little bit in you they're not going to be like all right are you okay they're going to see it and they're going to go for it and they're going to keep going for it and they're just going to keep, keep going, going, going. Yeah, that first yeah. fight, was it a shock? Like, or what? Um, no, actually. No, I, no, I, I finished in the second round, so oh, it was man. grand. The first hit, or have you ever got hit? Yeah. Me? Or, like the proper, like, because they say the first hit, like, or the first kind of... Um, I, I, know, I, like, I know, me and, me, me and Liam, like, we, we, we definitely, um, we make sure we're well conditioned to okay, each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, yeah. We definitely we kicked, definitely we an we crap out of each other before we the absolutely <laughs> kick the head off each other. Years so. of training, like yeah, so there's no we, sparring there, class. like it's a full on fight. It's pretty much a full on fight. <laughs> I mean, like, he's he, like I know for a fact, like if I if I hit him, and, like yeah. and I see him wins, like I'm not gonna be like, hey, all right, just keep going. Like, <laughs> I'll, uh, so I'll hit him one or two more and see then. So yeah, do you think? Because yeah, normally with a sparring partner, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. But you so you yeah. can have that because you're a br- your yeah. brother and yeah. you have that yeah. kind of I understanding. Think, I, think, I think the two like wow. the, two, the two of us like. The, the, Two of us have always, we're, we've always said it to each other. Like, is I like you know, don't beat around the bush. Yeah, if yeah. it can be, if it can be done better, say it can be done better. If it can, be, if it's, it, just anything, anything, yeah, and yeah. like, and we, like when we say it, we 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 mean it like too. Um, not saying like I mean like you could train with loads of people and they say okay maybe do this or do that. Um, but like when when me and Liam say it to each other, it's like. There's no fucking, yeah, there's no yeah. uh, holding back in any sense at all. That's true. Um, so the opponent's probably easier <coughs> than Liam then, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But like, I mean, like, it's like, <coughs> even like if we're holding pads for each other, like, yeah. if I'm, if I see him getting tired or he sees me getting tired, like, he's going to, he's going to push me yeah, harder yeah, when yeah, I'm getting yeah, tired. Yeah. Whereas some people might step back a little bit. Yeah. Would you hit a wall, uh, like, with well. tiredness? And what do you do, like? Um, You just have to stay going. Yeah. Just stay going. You have to stay going. If you, stay, if you don't stay and going, do you play a mental game or anything like to keep no. yourself going or just keep going? No, uh, running, r- running is actually a very good way of doing it. Uh, I think that's why actually a lot of that whole thing of like getting up and going for a run, like it's yeah. it's it's a lot more about the mental aspect yeah, of it yeah. rather than the fitness. Yeah, because uh, like you do loads in the gym, you yeah. do you you do loads of loads of sparring, loads of pads, loads of bag work, loads of other conditioning work yeah. to build up that kind of level of fitness. So the running. Is a lot more mental, I find. Yeah. Um, the yeah. likes of when it's raining, you have yeah. to go out and you have yeah, to run. You have to run through the pissing rain for however long. And running you know. is kind of hard to give up on. Like if you go to the gym and you get tired, you can just leave. Whereas like if you're halfway through a run, you yeah. still have to go home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, that, that's one. That's one thing <laughs> I, I do is I like I I never I don't I don't like running laps of places. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. like you run somewhere where you have to kind you of have to you have to come back. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. I even found out when I used to do athletics and have more like if I did if I was asked to do laps of the athletic track, I just wasn't able. Yeah. But they're like do two laps of the park. Yeah. Even well, though it was a longer distance, it was yeah. easier because it was easier. Yeah. Because you have to for the mental side. You have to come back. Yeah. Because like you you could be there and like one day one of the days I was just at home and I was like right fucking I'm going to run down to the rag I ran from the forest to the rag and I got down to the rag and I was like why the fuck did I do this yeah. but I had to run back oh mm. God. so and like you know there was no like that was it I just had to yeah. really had to run back like um and I guess you're training your mental stamina as well as in a whole other thing like is because yeah like you can go to like that's the that is just a bizarre thing and not even bizarre. That just really shows you the power of the mind and like how like when you do reach a point of training or running and you're like, I literally phys I or not literally, I physically cannot go any further. But yeah, your mind's like, No, I think you can like and then you go yeah. a bit further. Yeah, like, no, you're you're like what the like hell? Like your body my, my, like patch on my coach, he always says it like your body will give up. Your body will give up yeah. a thousand times before your brain actually will. Wow, yeah, that's but your true. brain, your brain will always, your, but also, I suppose in another sense, your brain will always try to convince you. Um, mm. Like, you could be running and you could have a little twinge in your knee or something. 
and your body's uh, your brain says, "Oh yeah, that knee, that knee's gone. You have to stop. You have to stop." Oh, that's like a natural mm-hmm. kind of yeah. Just it's yeah. just a way of just your brain doing it. Whereas yeah, yeah, you get used to that, and you know, right? Okay, if I just literally go for another two or three minutes, that 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 little twinge is going to be gone. Yeah, and I'll yeah. Be able to finish the run, realist, and it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think there's, I think we are designed to come up with excuses. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you have to be able to know, know when something is actually like actually wrong. Yeah. And like if you actually have an injury and know when to dial back, but you need to be able to know when it's when it's bullshit too. Yeah, yeah. Um That's true. Do you think you have to be creative when you're fighting as well? They're looking for opportunities to like say with football and stuff, you're always trying to think two steps ahead and create opportunities yeah, to create yeah, things. Yeah, definitely. You're you're setting up you're setting up everything. Yeah. You're setting up everything. Um like do you know that scene in uh, Sherlock Holmes? Do you ever yeah. see where everything slowed down? Yeah. I always like, do you know, like be thinking, imagine to be able to do that. Like try, I, I sometimes think of scenarios where I've just be like able to do that where you just like time freezes yeah. and you can predict what happens and he just does it. Like, yeah. well, but, like, like do that. but like if you throw if you if you throw something um for instance like you could if you throw a shot you could be throwing a simple shot, but you're you're not only just throwing your simple shot, you're also seeing what way he reacts to it. Yeah, yeah. And then you can throw that same shot the next time, but you know whether he's doing something else. Yeah. And you can capitalize on that one mistake okay, that he does. Yeah. But like, or you, like you could do it and you can just bank it. You can just bank that little mistake that he does and you can just start releasing them eventually along yeah, the back yeah. of your brain and you're, you're yeah. just... You just release them. You just literally store them. And as, as it goes on... um. You just start letting them off. Um, he thinks he got away with it, doesn't he? They think <laughs> they get, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. Noticing the slightest little pattern in the way people do, do things could completely open the door for yeah. attacking them. Like. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Like, if it's the tiniest little, tiniest little thing. Um, That's, I'm just thinking, like, because, uh, like, imagine, like, when you're fighting, like, the level where, like, all your opponents are also recorded and you can see all their other fights. Yeah. We are fighting now against this guy in Belfast, like, yeah. does I'm assuming there's not like a crazy amount of videos because you know it's pr- like in Ireland like uh, like I mean like the more fights they have the more they're recorded kind of well like he'd be he's he, he's good like he's defended this belt twice. so I, so, I, so what I'm saying what I'm getting at is does he have videos now like is there videos of him recording where you can like research because a lot of fighters um, do that don't yeah they? yeah there is there is a little bit I try not to I try not to focus on that too much yeah. being honest with you. Um, I think that's better because I know like most fighters end up doing that and I'm just thinking like when you start off originally when you first ever fight like most cases your fight's not going to be recorded it's not going to be on it's not going to be on a large scale so either are your opponents um, so you're going in there kind of blind in a yeah, sense yeah. Um, so yeah I feel like if you continue to do that and don't go down the route of like maybe just constantly researching your opponents you will ha- you your skill will be able to go in blind because ca- um, yeah 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 no ho- I, I 100% I totally agree with that like I'm I've 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 done it before. I've watched. I've, I've fought people before, and I've watched yeah. every single detail. I've watched the fights over and over again. I've seen right. Okay, they do this, to do that, and then you go into the ring and they don't do any of it. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden you're you've built yourself up to something that's yeah. not actually there. Mm-hmm. Whereas you can watch someone. And you can say right. Okay, they're they're either aggressive. They're maybe a bit laid back. They like to they like to try control the ring. They like to just yeah. kind of very general general tips. Um, or things that you see, but never, f- never focusing on like, oh, okay, they 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 always make this mistake or they always do this. Yeah, yeah. Like I fought that in um, fought that in September last year over in England, and I kept waiting for one shot. I kept waiting for this yeah. one shot that he always threw, mm-hmm. and he didn't throw it for the whole fight. Okay. Wow. Didn't throw it for once for the whole fight. You know, your might be your mind was yours like the. Uh, dedicating some energy to always expecting to that. expecting that yeah, I yeah. yeah. The, the problem about researching is like if you're watching someone's like style and then you're like okay this is the thing where they do this is the thing they do wrong this is what I need to capitalize on they're also watching back their own videos going okay this is the thing yeah. I need to do yeah, wrong yeah. this is what I need yeah. to work on oh yeah. that's really interesting yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Like, and like the thing as well with this is like you could watch the video from someone a year ago yeah um but like they're they're they've they've done a year of training on top of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Or you watch someone a month ago and they've still like a month like after a fight, like I've heard before, one fight is worth six months training. Because the um, the amount you learn in one fight is crazy. Is absolutely wow. crazy. Is, yeah. And is yeah. that on all levels, physical, mental or like what well, uh, all okay. of it, all and of it. And you change style, yeah. Does your style change all the Um I suppose Or does everyone have their own kind of unique kind of 
Yeah, I guess it's like I mean, like I'm still pretty new to it, so I'm I'm still like I'm still learning at a very very a very like a very fast rate. Yeah, um, what I'd like to think so anyway. Um, you know, I'm still like every like I learn stuff like every every single week without fail. I learn something new every yeah, single yeah. week without fail. That's the thing that almost like that's a buzz, isn't it? It becomes this kind of you're always chasing um that improvement. And when yeah. you get the improvement, it's an unbelievable feeling. But then you you want it more. You want it again. You go home that day, and even though you might got it right, you want to try to figure out how you can do it better. Even better, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And it's just, a, it's, it's, be honest, it's, it's just a constant roundabout of just... Yeah, yeah. Um, like, the amount of times, like, I just sit down, and, like, your brain just goes, just goes, and you're just thinking about little things, tiny little adjustments that you can make, or... Yeah. Just tiny, tiny little things. Um, and... Um, do you do you like meditate or anything like that, or do you do any like mindful like not even meditate like do any do like focused um, like mental focus training or kind of? Um, no, I kind of I like not not really meditate. No, uh, I don't know. I like I like I definitely like the whole kind of. Yeah, I suppose like I mean like we do we we do heavy heavy backgrounds inside. Um, and like when when I get a break like. It's literally a couple of real long deep breaths, big long deep breath in, big long deep breath out. Do that about three times, yeah. And you just get yourself back down to just zero. That, that's yeah, what I yeah. that's the way mentally I always think it's just we're about always back to zero. Yeah, yeah. And you just start again, and you're just always trying to get that back down to this level, and you're just going again. Okay. Right. When you, so when you're like competing, is it like competing against others or competing against yourself? Are you trying to outdo yourself the last time, or what are you thinking when you're doing it? Um, you're I just beat that guy. You're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to just pick them apart as well, yeah. all the same. Um, that's that's what I like to do. Yeah. I love to just oh, see sorry, see different things, and I like to try just like unravel them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just unravel them right in front of you, and just and when you see that, I don't know, because he could be fucking watching this now yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, just uh, yeah, just unravel them yeah. um, and just make them. <laughs> Make them drown. <laughs> uh, that's the way I feel. Yeah, about yeah. It anyway. Just like gonna make them cry, cry like basically what you want to do. Yeah, like you want to, you want, you want to. You need, like I know that sounds like super, super evil, but uh, yeah. like at the end of the day, like <laughs> either if 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 I don't do it, Somebody he's gonna he's yeah, gonna do yeah, it to yeah. me. Yeah. Um, you but know, I think that's the like the funny thing about fighting, and I think it's like it's a very good place to kind of get that very like primal stuff out because it's like you're doing it with someone that has agreed to it like so like i think it's a very healthy it's a very healthy type of fighting although yeah. that might be perceived as like healthy and fighting in the same sentence might yeah. sound mad but yeah when the other, other opponents agreeing to it it's like um it's very it's 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 not unhealthy to have that kind of mindset of like you yeah. need to win like or you need yeah. to beat this person yes yeah. well, like i mean like even before like i mean like i won't like like before i started this like i had probably I, like i probably had a pretty big fucking ego like yeah. um straight up pretty yeah, big yeah. ego um, and I remember I just went in the first day of sparring and I got the head absolutely <laughs> slapped up. Humbled. 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 Like, and I mean, like, it, that thing, that never came back again. All right, that's you know, mad. You just can't, you and like, left it on the ring. And as well, like, in, in the gym, um, like, uh, you go into loads and loads of gyms and there's always one lad and he's walking around with, like, a big pigeon chest on him in the corner. Like, that does, that's not allowed. Yeah. That's not allowed to exist. Um, you know, there's no... That's... It's super. It's one of the most, it's one of the most humbling things ever. Yeah. Um, and like, like whereas before, like even in like rugby matches, I remember like someone would like push you, and you're like, oh, you know, what, you want to, you want to, you want to go for them straight away. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if someone recently done that to me now, you just be like, no, like you know, you just, yeah. just there's no. That's the difference. You're not trying to prove anything. You don't. Yeah. Need, you don't need to prove anything. I think that's the difference between cocky and confidence and the likes of like Conor McGregor. The, like, the reason he's confident and not cocky is because I think cockiness is nearly like someone that says they can do it but doesn't do it. Like, but I think yeah. there's a, like a healthy type of confidence when you're just doing what you're saying yeah. and like nobody can really question that because yeah. you're not. You're just you're just doing what you're saying. Yeah, like um, I remember I don't want them. I just put up one of them, uh, do you know them Instagram questionnaire walks? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Put up one of them. Someone asked me questions like, if you go back to and tell yourself when you were 16, uh, something, what would you do? Yeah. And it'd be like, uh, what, what, did I, what did I say? I think basically what I said was like, just because you think you can fight doesn't mean you can. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. You know, and, cool. and I think the other one was just be humble as well. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, like, 
it's I don't know. I it's don't a know. waste of time. It's a wa- yeah. It's an absolute yeah. waste of time. An absolute waste of time. Um, you know, and you, it, it's actually a lot of like, because I was definitely far more like egotistical than I was. I think it's okay to have an ego, but an unhealthy. I was definitely had an unhealthy ego. Um, and it, it actually it's so draining, like to yeah. to constantly be worried about what people think or trying to perceive yourself in a certain way. Like it was the most draining stage yeah. of my life. Like, um, but like I can imagine, like that kind of came. I lost that over time, but I can imagine, like you lose that quick after a few punches. Like as you said, like yeah, instantly, like hundred percent, hundred percent. I think it was one of the main reasons why I just wanted to go back as well. Like, yeah, you know, um, and like uh, I don't know, there's there's so many. There's so many things involved in it. Like you could be so for instance, like you could train away you could train for a couple of months. Yeah. And you start off you start off in your grand and then you start to freel it. It's like, okay, I think I'm actually getting good at this. Yeah, yeah. As soon as you think you're getting good, you go all the way down and you spend about two weeks of feeling that you're shit and you're learning nothing. Okay. And then all of a sudden it goes back up again and it goes it drops and it keeps it's just this constant cycle wow. of like all the way up and all the way down, regardless of if you're competing or not. Yeah, yeah. Um so, I don't know. It's it does it does so, it certainly does something to you. It changes. Yeah, yeah. It, cha- it changed my whole my whole whole mindset. Everything. Nice you, as soon as as soon as I started, I changed everything. I literally like just felt. Did you feel like you just? Did you feel like as a person you kind of fell more on your path? Because I think when you're off path, like things are like like um, everything seems like a lot of energy and stuff. But I think like. When you find like what you enjoy doing, um, you go on this like state of like flow or just yeah. things just kind of happen. Like yeah. life just yeah. happens easier. And yeah. Do you feel? Did you feel that second? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like as soon as I started, um, started what did I start? Started twenty eighth September two thousand seventeen. Okay. The first day I start, I, st- I walked into the gym. Uh, May last year, I left. I left my left my job as a mechanic, fully qualified mechanic, to go and because I realized as well like. Like health and fitness are the two things that, like, I think a lot more people should do them. I think a lot yeah. more people need to do them. Yeah. Because they, like they make you realize so much about yourself. Yeah. Like if you're like whereas like I done, I was getting up, going to work all day every day, so on and so forth. Yeah. But there was never, there was never that like, that like challenge. There was never that like want to to always get better. Do you know what kind of way? No, like there was never a direct goal. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think exactly. that's the hard part about like, it, I found that as well, like uh, with exercise and stuff. Like I was one stage, I was going to the gym for ages and I just couldn't be motivated because there was nothing like, there was no direct thing that I enjoyed. Whereas like, there was no measurement of success. Like because yeah. pe- like, I had no interest to in use and like people obviously use their body, like you, and which is okay. Like you want to um, build your body, then that's a measurement of success. Yeah. That I didn't want that. So I had no measurement of su- success. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, until you found find like a kind of direct uh, ability you want to improve, it's like yeah, well, like even for me, like I mean, like I wouldn't even have that either. Like I've never, yeah, I, I, like, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the whole kind of you know looking pure swelled up, yeah. like you know, because like that's, that's like something, the that's body. something on the to me that's something on, like on the outside, yeah. Know? Whereas yeah. like in kickboxing or muay thai or whatever it is, like you're 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 always in trying to improve yourself that's and that's it the rest okay. of it the rest of it just follows through the training yeah yeah you know um that's interesting i don't know like i mean like i remember like before i started like i mean like i had no idea where i was going yeah like, yeah no no idea in the slightest like where i was going thought i was going to spend the next 25 30 years stuck in a garage yeah um you know and i think when i started that and i remember just going back into the garage and like every every day I'm just being like, this is this is Felt not wrong. this is not what I want. This is just yeah. like the, this is this is a waste. This is a sheer waste. That's of, so interesting of my time. Like in the se- in the sense, yeah, okay, you know, I was gain- I was definitely gaining things from it. Yeah, but I was gaining wasn't you like yeah, I was it. gaining like more material shit rather than yeah. like I wasn't gaining anything. Yeah, you know. Whereas when I went in there, like, look, I'm not making absolutely loads of money, but I'm gaining so much more. Yeah, so yeah. so much more. And like I've said it to I've said it to loads of people before. Um, like I'm before I used to chase money and expect to be happy from from money. Yeah. Whereas when I found this, I decided I was getting happier from it. Yeah. And rather than like I was kind of more chasing happiness now and then trying to get money from that. 
yeah, if that's yeah. if that's two things that you because realistically you know you need you definitely need some bit of an income yeah yeah so but find yeah. something that you really really like lights a fire on you yeah and makes you want to do something the money. and then try and then maybe just a little bit it doesn't have to be loads but just yeah. make a little bit on the side I think the easy part is the money will follow. I think the the hard part is finding that thing. When you do find that thing, like uh, like Jesus, take it, like because that that is like I don't think people realize how little people actually do get to find it. And you will find it, like if you search yeah. for it. Like, but yeah. you do have to, like if if you don't know what it is that makes you happy doing, it's probably because you're constantly doing something over and over that doesn't make you happy. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not giving yourself the space or the chance to let something new in or, or try something new. Because, like, w- when you find it, like, that's it. You'll never be, like, in a sense, poor again because you have something you can always fall back into yeah. that doesn't cost money. 100%. 100%. And, like, another, another saying that I heard before was uh, never be afraid to, to suck at something. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's one thing people... I fucking love failure, man. Yeah. <laughs> I literally but, like, love it's, it. It's like, so like, true. Like, I think, <laughs> I, think, like, I think the worst thing you can do is like, go into something one day and be like, oh, I'm shit at that. I'm shit at that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And it's like, you've been doing it a day. It's like, yeah, yeah. Keep going. If you yeah. enjoy it a little bit, just push, just push that a little bit yeah. more. And, you know, you'll, you, it just might spark something. It might yeah. spark something. And like, look, you're right, okay, if you try it for a couple of weeks and you're like, okay, maybe this isn't actually for mm. me. Like me, for instance, I tried to learn the guitar, right? I tried and I tried and I tried. Yeah. And eventually I was just like, this is just not working for me. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I just put it down and never went back to it again. Um, at least you have the closure. No, yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. I like, but I try. I done that with loads of things. Like, I just yeah. try. I just kept trying things, trying things, and you learn more from failure anyway, don't you? you know? Definitely, hundred uh, percent. Success doesn't really teach you anything, does it? No. You know, success. Success. Like, I definitely think. Um, a big, there is a non healthy dog. Like, you should definitely appreciate your success, and now yeah. and again, pat yourself on the back. But, yeah. but yeah, there's no like for me. Like, I I look for failure. Like, which I I realize is not a healthy thing because like. The um the the value stands so much clearer in failure to me. Like uh, you gain so much of it. Like I. Yeah. 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 Boring, wouldn't it? It's yeah. getting knocked down. Yeah. yeah. Um. It, yeah. It's, it's uh, you have to go to train now. It's actually twenty five tattoos. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, we'll finish off now. Anyway, yeah. do any have any like uh kind of uh what's the word. Uh, I don't know questions <laughs> for for like I was trying to think of a <laughs> I was trying to think of a uh, a linguistical attribution. Yeah. <laughs> right, do you have any final comments, words, or queries? You don't have to comment below, but our audience can. Yeah. You can say it now. Oh yeah, tell them. Oh. We're doing a letters page that can send in questions. Oh uh, yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if any of our if any of our audience wants to send in letters, um, do you know like something that you could be going through or something that uh, we want to say we're not like therapists, we're not getting like that, but like just something you want to want us to talk about, uh, we could talk about it on behalf of your letter. We um, we wouldn't say your name right, like you don't have, don't put your name, of course. Uh, just something you want to talk about. Uh, send it to. Is it, like, will we actually do Crying. the post? Yeah, Crying, um, yeah. Send it to our studio yeah. here. Uh, 30, 33 Matthew Avenue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, send a letter here. Um, yeah, thanks for coming on. Uh, nice we'll time. definitely get you on. Like, poor, poor Sam, uh, he got um, unlucky today because we're in a different studio and it was a whole other studio. <laughs> Well, we had to build a new studio in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, we did a quick. Um, whole string of technical. We have an architect. He's yeah. coming. <laughs> Wait, what? Whole string of technical. Yeah, a whole string. It? Because we got new equipment and. Yeah, there's so, so much equipment. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but we did it all for your audio pleasure. Is that what? Oh, audio whatever. Pleasure. I want to say that. Aural? Aural pleasure? Aural. Yeah, Is like A-U-R-A-L. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah thanks for coming oh, on, Sam. Really that's appreciate it. We'll definitely so get you on again af- yeah, after, because... Yeah. Uh, n- n- <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's our live what? studio audience. Yeah, yeah. that's our... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that, yeah, we got a lovely soundboard, too. Um, <laughs> that's after all we got. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely get you on again. Uh, best of luck with your fight. And uh, what day is the fight again? Twenty eight March. Twenty eight March in Belfast Fighting for the pro Irish title. For the pro wow. Irish title. Yeah. Oh, we can't watch it online, or anything, can we? No no, 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 no. But I have tickets up in the gym if anyone oh, wants to buy them. Very okay. good. So, so yeah. um, yeah, you can contact 
like yeah if you can contact Sam yeah, Devaney yeah, yeah. or um, even your contact us we'll get on to him for you just message us at Crowhug Instagram or whatever all that crack whatever way you're watching this comment comment below for tickets <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah that's it yeah thanks again thanks a million again f- to the Credit Union for uh, sponsoring this and DH Ryan Architects both um, amazing groups that we're happy so. to work with uh, yeah I think that's it um, don't let fear kill you because it's no don't don't you don't the, the whole look we, we, we didn't talk about it because we're good at it. we didn't talk about this thing that's going on this um trend everyone's catching on to this trend of like corona or something i don't know i won't say too much it's like voldemort or something um but yeah definitely don't get too fearful or don't let fear make it seem worse than what it is and everyone <laughs> <laughs> our cameraman's coughing is dying everyone's dead <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the, the last podcast <laughs> clear the building we're yeah. going to sanitize yeah um, and for anyone wondering that's not why we're in a different studio I know because uh, I don't want to make that even more fearful we're in a new studio because uh, we might have messed up Lucy's electricity, <laughs> <laughs> which I can guarantee you is worse than this virus. Um, I mean, I'm a lot more fearful of that being a situation than getting the virus. Um, yeah, definitely um, just stay safe. Obviously, just take the same precautions that you should because no harm. Why not? Um, but yeah, just don't let, don't let the fear root take away the fact that you're living. I don't know. Um, wash your hands. Wash your hands, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anything else? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Eat fruit. <laughs> Eat fruit. Um, the fruit and vegetable section is still abundant, if anyone's noticed. Um, yeah, be more healthy and you might survive. Um, <laughs> yeah, support the lads anyway for the fight if you can. Uh, thanks a million. We'll be back next week and we'll be back the next week after that. So on, so forth. Try out the new button. Try out the new button. Do, oh, is this one the clap? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. Have a good time. Whoa, that, that was it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's all came on. Whoa, I feel like I'm back in the reverb. Is that very weird? Yeah, yeah that's what Hello. Weird.